Hello guys, um, good day. We have a MacBook here, um, which a customer brought to us this morning that is having the trackpad is not working, the keyboard is not working. So we are going to lose it now to see what the problem is actually and know how to tackle it. Hello guys. Uh, we've seen something that is bad here. Look at this here. We have a MUCO content here. Uh, I don't think there is any other thing here. The possible causes of um, trackpad and keyboard issue. Well, looking at the board, the board, the, the motherboard is very clean. The motherboard is very clean, but for an engineer, these are the possible things you can look up to. The flex gate. The flex gate is the things you look up to to check if um, there is any error connection on them. But looking at it here, they are all okay. So we are having only issues is from here. I think this is the only way I'm having issues. So let's first of all clean it up and replace to see if we have um, a working trackpad and. Um, keyboard channel after we've changed the diode responsible for the trackpad look at the system here if you can see the diode is of made of three legs so one of the leg is going to the trackpad I believe which is giving um, three volts or three volts to the trackpad so we've changed it so you can look at it very well we've changed the track so now let's power the system to see if um, our trackpad and keypad will be working perfectly. Now the system is coming up. Yeah. Okay. The trackpad is, the system is up. Okay, the trackpad, as you can see, we have a moving trackpad. So, and let's confirm the keyboard. The keyboard is working as well. So this will tell you that the diode is responsible for the, the non-movement of the trackpad and the keyboard issue. Um, let me show you the diode in quotes. Uh, the diode is uh, okay. Let me bring the diode out here. Okay, this is the diode. That is a chubby, that is a Q forty eight zero zero. Like I said, it's giving out three volts. This is P1. P1 is the main power taking in three volts to the system. Now, P2 is the trackpad. Sorry. Now, this is P1. P1 takes in three volts. P2, trackpad XPI initial. And now pin 2 is also trackpad XPI initial that wakes up the trackpad and the keyboard. So, I believe when you have such issues on the trackpad and keyboard, you just do physical inspection first to know where to start from. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thank you.